Y'all ready for day two? This is Ryan Mack. Day two of 365, one tip per day for 365 days. Hope you join me on this journey, the Provision for Abundance journey. Every single day, a biblical financial education tip. Today, we're talking about Alpha and Omega. Alpha and Omega. Revelation 22 and 13 says, I am the Alpha and the Omega, the first and the last, the beginning and the end. It's one of my favorite scriptures. God has granted us the greatest blessing of all, life. When you wake up, you get one more day to live your God-given purpose. When you wake up and your feet hit the floor, we've heard this saying before, the devil should say, oh, shoot, he's up again. We're living in a world filled with distractions. We are pulled in several ways all at once every single day, every second it seems like. Something or someone is clamoring for your attention. But the first thing we should focus on every single morning is God. Not the news, not social media, not the text on your phone, not your email accounts. All of these things if allowed to be our first focus, will become what controls our thoughts. Let God be the first and last thought of each day because in him we have everything we have that we need to live that day. As part of your morning prayers each day, your focus and question should be, God, what is your will for me today? I love that question because... Every single day, the focus is, should be, what is your will, Lord? Not my will, but what is your will for me today? It seems as if sometimes we want to insert our own will and what we feel should be correct. But when you let God lead, it's a beautiful thing. It's almost like if you're reading a story and the author has promised you at the end of that story, you will be fulfilled with peace, love, joy, and happiness. If you just finish the story the way it is, and the author has promised you when you finish that story, but in the middle of the story, you say, you know what? I don't like the way this story is going. I'm going to start writing my own story. Now, you've been guaranteed peace and joy and happiness and fulfillment by just reading the story as it is. But you want to go and find something else? That's probably not going to give you anywhere near the same level of the same enjoyment. And we've all done that. We've all strayed past. We've all gone off past before. But it's time for us that this is a daily reminder. God, what is your will for me today? What is your will for me today? Supporting scriptures, Romans 8 and 5 says, For those who live according to the flesh, set their minds on the things of the flesh, but those who live according to the Spirit set their minds on the things of the Spirit. What is your mind set on today? Is your mind set on God or is your mind set on the distraction? Is your mind set on the promise of God, the promise that he wants to fulfill in your life, or is your mind set on something that wants to take you away from what God has fulfilled in your life? Matthew 6 and 24 says, no one can serve two masters, for either he will hate one and love the other, or he will be devoted to one and despise the other. The financial tip of the day goes like this, the daily tip. Put your Bible, not your phone, next to your bed. Leave your phone in another room if you need to. This will help you not to pick up your phone the first thing in the morning and will allow you to focus on the word and not the world. Allow the word to enter your spirit as the first thing and not what they're talking about on Facebook. Also consider not having a television in your room. Turning off the television, turning on the television first thing in the morning or watching it as you go to sleep causes you to focus on more of what the world has to say in your life than what the word has to say in your life. Focus on not the world, but on the kingdom of God and his will for you. Make God the alpha and omega of every single day. I know you might be worried about that house, but set your mind on God's will. It will come to pass. I know you might be worried about that job, but set your mind on God's will and it will come to pass if it is his will. 
and the, at the time as, as well deems it to be necessary in your life. I know you're worried about that next paycheck. You just got laid off, but set your mind on God's will. But remember, we just talked about yesterday. Set your mind on God's will and making him the Alpha and Omega in, first, in your first of thoughts does not also means you have to include action. See, God will order your steps. All the worries that you have in your life, if there's a way that you need to find out to get out of that financial rut that you are in, God will order your steps to do exactly what for you as he's always done in the past. How many problems have you had a year ago, two years ago that you don't even remember? But going through it, it didn't seem like there was a way out. But God found a way then, but God will find a way now. So any financial difficulties that you may be going through, that's what we're here for. That's what the purpose of this book is for. We're here to support you. Send us an email if you need any help or, uh, or work. we got tons of free resources. See you tomorrow for day three. Peace.